Hello and welcome to the production car challenge. We've got Mazda racing today, as just about everyone in here is in a Mazda, including myself, but we've got one lonely Mustang, and then we've got a fierce two Jetta battle, and a two Solstice battle, actually, so we have a little bit of everything, but uh, emphasis on little bit, <laughs> other than the Mazda. <laughs> but uh, clear. Right. I actually did one of these two, already. Um, unfortunately, I lost the footage because it, like, I guess it corrupted while uploading or something like that. And uh, I'd already cleared, and I didn't realize it until it was too late. And I had already cleared out room on my computer uh, for more videos. So I've been doing a lot of videos this week. And uh, I gotta make room. I'm kind of paranoid ever since the one time I lost a really good race. Uh, because I lost, I ran out of space because high definition videos are very, uh, whew, are very heavy on file size. And so I had already cleared it out and didn't realize that the upload had been corrupted. And, uh, well, lost it. It wasn't too crazy of a race anyway. Um, flips a little bit. Oh, nice! X. <laughs> Car wants to kill you a little bit on cold tires, unfortunately. We'll have to do another warm up lap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tried to save it. But I would have had to get a better run to the line anyway. Alright, I'll take it easier on the cold tires, I'm sorry. But uh, the last race that was lost, it wasn't a huge deal that we lost it. Um, I ended up second place. I really had nothing at all for the leader. Um, they were just much better than I was, and uh, they drove away pretty easily, but uh, kind of just drove on my own. Uh, had a couple interesting lap car moments, but nothing too crazy. And I was able to avoid anything, anyone killing me, <laughs> so, um, oh my god, this... I got so used to, in practice, having warmed tires, now I gotta drive with these cold green, tires green, and they're both green, simultaneously not gripping okay, and sliding all over the black. place, which I guess is a different form of not gripping, but I'm sure you know what I mean. I should have put all-time best up to help with my braking zones, but... Oh well. There. Help out a little bit. It's a bad lap so far. <laughs> But we are the number one, unfortunately. Hopefully that means uh, we'll have a successful race, but... It's also uh, pretty scary. So you don't know... One more lap. What's gonna happen. P7. That puts you 1.0 seconds off the pace. You've just done a 58.27. Alright. A little bit better of a turn one. Don't slide too much. Tires are still a little bit cold. I'm just... I've never been quite good at handling colder tires. Some guys can run their best laps even though the tires are cold, it seems like. But me, uh, I'm much better when the tires are up to temp. I don't know what it is. But at least this lap will be better. We'll be starting better than ninth, I hope. We'll go from a 58 to 2 a 57 6. I'll put a second for now. Right on. I'm good with that. We'll see if I fall anymore, though, because I'm sure there's still people out there. Uh, I should have stayed on track and practiced a little bit more. I wish it would let you get back out there. While you're waiting, but no big deal. 
Uh, got some, I dumb 2x for sliding on the warm up lap, but whatever, that's the equivalent of what I'm X. I'm sure I'll be off the course at some point during this race anyway. Hope not, actually, but you know. I remember to take it easier on the early laps because I don't want to spin out. Uh, something that did happen in the last race is guys were unbelievably aggressive on lap one. They were taking me three wide and guys crashing all over the place. I'm sure it's going to happen again too, but I don't get that. Like it was the leader too. Um, I think the leader had qualified behind me. Even though he's much faster, he did qualify, but just had a bad qualifying or something, I think. And he, like, took me three wide at one point, and it's like, that is so not worth it, man. <laughs> Clearly, you're, you've got great speed. Like, I think if you're patient, these are long races, 25 minutes. I think if you're patient and wait for your chance to get around, like, you, I think you could clearly beat me and everyone else. Without needing to take it three wide on lap one, like in risk getting wrecked, wrecking yourself, wrecking others, and suddenly not getting first, which you're clearly capable of getting, but he got it anyway. I had to hold middle in the final corner at one point, and we survived, but just barely. Uh, theoretically, I should be able to hit a 57-2. My best all-time is a 57-0, but... I never could seem to <laughs> quite seem to back that up. I wonder if maybe I had draft when I, I hit that, but. Okay, we're going to bump down third. I think we're not going to lose too many more spots, though, which is, uh, I'm good with that. This guy filing in right behind us. Just barely, just a four thousandths behind us. So he and I could have a close battle here, the number one and two. I guess one thing I also didn't do is take my fuel out. That probably had an effect on my speed, but 9x on my out. <laughs> oh my god, oh no. I guess I feel a little bit better then about my 2x. 9x! Oh my god. Poor guy. <laughs> He came out and got a great lap, though, so. Well, hey, maybe uh, my path to victory here is just being consistent, because maybe that guy's going to run off the course at some point trying to hit his 57 threes. <laughs> That's the end of the session, P4. I'm saying 16 liters. I don't know if there's, oh, there's 16 liters. They say you can remove a little bit. Do I believe them? Should I believe them? Nah. <laughs> it's not going to make a huge difference anyway. All right. So, even more of a reminder One to go. Next time by. from Line that guy's right unfortunate 9x outlap to, to be careful on the cold tires because they will try to murderify you. Do all that so that we can get a fast repair. One of the cats is aggressively attacking the door, trying to get in, apparently. <laughs> that doesn't come through on the mic. They're like, let me in. I want to stare at you for no apparent reason. Because that's what's going to happen if I open that door. But we'll try to survive a pace lap here. I, you know, I'll power to the 11, the only Mustang in the race. I hope he has fun, but also, like, did you really have to join the track? You're not going to gain or lose any I rating being the only Mustang. And the only thing that could potentially happen is getting in the way of the other races. But I guess that's kind of a selfish way of looking at it, because, you know, he, he deserves to have fun, too. It's just I'm looking at the 
And the first five Mazdas being faster than that, potentially. I'm a little worried. In the past, or the, in the last race, we did. It was a similar situation where there were a couple of Mustangs, but they were pretty low high rating, and they were all crashing in turn one, and it made an already hectic start even more hectic. Like, that's one thing. But here, there's really no reason for the Mustang to be here if he doesn't have any competition, but... That, like I said, I guess that reason is fun, so I hope he has fun, and maybe he'll uh, he'll be very uh, generous and give lots of room. I could only hope. Let's uh, get some of the... Uh, try to get the tires warmed up a little bit, if we can. Not going to do the weaving thing, but... I'll speed up for the corners a little bit and warming up the tires as well. Or the brakes, rather. Get Trying to get the squeak out of them. I'm going to up the volume a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, we now we're data. leaving space. We should probably do that before we start rolling off the grid, just saying. But. Because <sighs> you're supposed to hit. You're supposed to keep a consistent pace once you're rolling, but whatever. Also, I mean, it's one Mustang. Is it really going to be that big of a deal? I don't know. But that's not up to me. It's up to the leader how to do it. Get ready. Going green. There he goes. Okay, let's carry it off. Time to do your job. You are just turning into me. How green oblivious green can you be, green. man? Just going to turn straight into me. Alrighty then. Not a very friendly start. Let me remind myself to be nice and gentle early on. Don't crash myself for no reason. Oh, they're already scaring me ahead. Some of the angles are taken into these corners. Yeah. For these tires to get a little bit of grip in them. Don't spin it like you did in the outlap. Oh my god. That was close. That was close for the 7, too. Who also had an adventurous outlap, apparently. So, that makes sense. But we're all good. Both of us. For now. If these tires want to get warm any time now, I am more than willing to welcome the warm tires to my life. That's some sliding from the four. Could we get an aggressive move here? Yes, we are. He's basically driving on the grass, trying to get around him. It's a little bit early to be trying to make a pass in the grass. If there ever even is a time to do that. Oh my gosh, the seven's a problem. I can see where the 9X came from. These guys are drifting through the corners. Okay, Colton, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. You got it, Blake. Car on the right. Go left. Oh boy. I didn't know where that guy was going to be. That guy coming out of the pits. Alright. A little bit more grip with each lap that passes. Way to take that corner. I was not all that smooth. Oh, 
almost overdrove it, but fine. Watching this two behind us, he's a guy that's very similar to us in speed. It looked like he was going to dive it in, so... I had to be a little extra aggressive. Oh, he's being really aggressive. Wish guys would be patient whenever we're at the 25 minute race, but. Oh well. Oh, this is exciting. <sighs> Why are you parking it on the apex? Left side. Stay on the right. Oh, I thought he was a lap car. Okay, I kind of get it. Keep to the right. Get Still didn't like it, third. but I gotta get it. Slow car ahead. This is now fast leader. <laughs> Clear on the left. Held my line. That's on him. Is he yelling at me? Do I have chat muted? No. Okay. If he's yelling at me, I'd like to know about it. Okay, held my line pretty darn good there, but... I'm sure, uh... Well, in most cases, guys are more willing to believe they were the one that was correct. Hey, and maybe I was wrong. Who knows? I'll see it later. That lap was a 57.90. That's 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes. Well, this thing's holding on to the lead, although I'm not so sure it's because he's faster, but because guys are getting held up behind him. I haven't really been able to look too far ahead. I've been watching my corners and watching the guy hit me on the side and whatnot. Which ended up a 4x, which is a bummer, but what you gonna do? Oh, too much curb there. Thankfully it didn't shoot me off the side of this wreck. You can eat up a little bit curb on that final corner, but probably not that much. Probably don't want to be a habit out of that. Guy behind has just done a 57.23. Remember to keep an eye on the mirror just a little bit, just enough. Because I know that guy's. Go right. <sighs> the next car's okay. the leader. Left side. Go right. Some Clear. lifting because that guy. Spinning. And that guy just ran into the back of me, behind me. Right side, the lead is sitting now. Really? That's a stupid place Still to try to pass. Keep to the left. Keep to the left. Wow, look what that did for you, number two. Now everybody's here. Clear on the right. How'd that work out? B6. You like that three wide? You started that chain of events. Like passing in a not good area. Alright. Let me just be grumpy, alright? <laughs> I don't even know who it was that got into the side of me. It was like a red car, I think. Might have been a seven, I'm not sure. The gap behind is now 0.9. Still plenty of time in the race though, so don't need to be in a huge hurry. If anything, I would just like to pre uh prevent this twenty-three or anyone else behind us from catching up.
the best angle through there. Okay. We got in the grass a little bit, I think, there. Slowed them down. Uh -oh. Okay, I am really glad that I was slowing down and watching what was going on because I had no idea they were going to be on the other side of that hill. <laughs> and I was watching the three, watching where they were going to move because I knew they'd see it first. Stay close, there might be a chance here. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two time is good. Sector three is a second off the one pace. One of two solstice in the race, so I have the feeling the other one might be a favorite to win now, unless they are also had trouble. He goes, of course, a little bit there again. I've seen them do that before. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! Final destination over here. <laughs> Everything's trying to kill me. Well, suddenly, there's a little bit less cars in this battle. Huh. That was interesting. Glad I made a buy <laughs> that. Let's see if we can catch up to the two. It's the guy that qualified just barely behind us. So the assumption is that we're pretty close on speed. Oh, I missed my mark there. Hopefully, hopefully we can catch this uh, four and the six. Maybe uh, they can battle a little bit. I mean, the two can catch them. Oh, not very smooth there. I probably don't want to hit the curb on that corner. I could stand to be a bit smoother. Kind of missing my marks a little bit. Section. Happy with that. Keeping an eye. Two liters. Take a wider entry into that corner. That's going to be, yeah, of course. Whew. Okay, didn't get a one exit. Still not good, though. Yeah, I'm not being very smooth. Sector one time's okay. Sector two's two tenths off the pace. Sector three is zero point four four off the pace. Solstice coming up. Hope this goes well. Goodness, we catch him at a good spot. Alright, still didn't get the angle right. That time I was too wide. That's always a problem corner, corner for me, though, for some reason. Yeah, two's faster. Two's better, it looks like. They are mm, there, driving away. They just drive on the curb. That's one way to do it, I guess. Hopefully this uh, car lets you get away with that. In fact, uh, I like using up the curb right there. Usually helps me get through there pretty quick. Let me 
podcast says. The camera front is now 1.7 seconds. You shall not pass, says somebody to that guy. Alright, so we got a little bit of tire wear, which seems to be a thing with this combo for some reason. I mean, I guess the reason's pretty obvious. You're on the Your one. time was 57. <laughs> sliding, the, you're sliding around on the tires a whole lot, but uh, <laughs> notice it in this combo a whole lot more. So I'm going to get last lap up. That'll help me uh, find some trouble spots and or to improve a little bit more. Yeah, we're just really uh, similar to this guy ahead on speed. It's a little bit faster, but I'm keeping up with him with the tiny bit of draft I'm getting as well. Uh, those two guys in the front seem to be battling and yet are able to stay up there, so we might have found our spot here in fourth. I get through one pretty good compared to the guy ahead, though, and then I just lose it for the rest of the lap, it seems like. Okay, Colton, ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. And faster you get the message. Well, if he's a different class that's a slower class, then maybe I get that. But if he's the same class, then you should probably learn how to set up a pass. I don't know what the situation is, though. Hey, actually got through there kind of halfway decent. Hey, and that too. And yet we're still pretty equal to that guy in time. That lap was a 57.84. The gap ahead is now 1.1 seconds. Seems like the first half of the lap I might be a little bit stronger than this guy, but then the second half of the lap, he's a little bit better. I think I can be more aggressive through that corner. It doesn't help that I'm pretty terrible in this corner, though he might have messed it up there. I say, messing it up. That was fast, but I got a 1x. I'll take his draft, even though I don't normally bother with the weaving stuff. But I think I need all I can get in order to catch this guy. Might be feeling the nerves seeing me come up on him. Uh, seems like he's had a, a couple of poorer laps. A couple previous, potentially. Or maybe I'm just uh, getting more and more of his draft. Being more aggressive in that corner seems to be working. Yep, getting a little bit better in that corner too. I'll crash. You stop that now. Ooh, the chase is on though, this is exciting. Messed up that corner pretty bad. Closer. It's a good bit of curb there, but it seemed to work out for him.
predicting his movements to stay in his draft. Got good turn in the car in turn one. This could be a very valuable spot, depending on if those guys in first and second crash each other. Because uh, third is a very nice spot to have if that ends up happening. It's a little slideways there. Right side. Clear on the right. That lap time was 58.20. Alright, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Gonna set something up here. Not quite. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Just keeping them thinking. He seems to be able to hit the curb and still get through that corner well. I can't do that. Every time I hit the curb, it shoots me off the other side of the track. It's like... <laughs> Dude, lots of weaving. He's doing a good job protecting that spot, fending, hitting his marks, even though I'm breathing down his neck. If you say so, sir. He's not making any major mistakes. Still got three and a half minutes, so that's. Three, four laps, point four, right? A good passing zone here. Oh, we got the four up there who apparently had some sort of issue that has allowed us to start catching. Maybe they're just falling off real hard for whatever reason. Oh, that's not good. That habit. We really need to be in front of this car. Hmm. <laughs> Great racing, though. We're all pretty uh, similar speeds. It feels like so. It's making for some really good competition. happening up here. I can't see anything. And 
Nothing that concerns us, I guess. Stop it. That was good. Just pushed it a little bit too hard. Got through there, through there good. For his loot, missing his marks, he's kind of falling apart. I hit that curb way too hard. Oh, here we go. Wow, he just runs into him. Car on your left. One more to go. Keep it together. on the podium. That was interesting. Clear on the right. Had to go really shallow to avoid that. Sure how I feel about how that guy passed the other one, but Car right. Clear on the right. Right side, clear on the right. Shifted too early, that was not ideal. Couldn't get by him. There's an incident in left hander. <sighs> that was weird. <laughs> But we got a podium out of it, I guess. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Hmm. Great job. You did really well. It's intense. Park someone there, somewhere that's visible. Right on over here. Ended up being kind of messy. What all happened here? I bet metal number two is getting some friendly. Messages right now. No, nah, he already left. He tried to like slingshot around him. So he had a run and he didn't have enough room over here, so he decides late to go left, but he hits the hits that guy. And then um, I don't know what this turn right is. I have to use up the curbs in order not to die. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing is all this nonsense. I could have handled it somewhat better, I think. I think I had more room on my left than I thought I had. I had to get slowed for the corner and not get into his lane, but he <laughs> crosses me over. I couldn't get by him. I was a little more aggressive than what I would normally do, because he did wreck that guy. So I'm like, oh hey, if he's going to be willing to do that, that kind of opens the door for me to be a little more aggressive, but... Yeah, I don't know. Stupid moment here. I shift from third to fourth way too soon. That lets him get just a tiny bit of room. And I was hoping that he would overdrive it, get off into the grass, but he didn't. He held on to it, and uh, there's no way I was passing him at this point. So, that's fine. P3 is just fine. We avoided whatever happened there. Man, that's really rough on the four, though. They, had, they were fighting for the lead for a while, and then I guess they're kind of just fell apart and then they end up getting wrecked. Oh. Second to 17th. I hate that for him. Oh well. Uh, we got P3. Too many incidents. Six is more than I would want to get. Oh my god. We are far from the worst though. There's people 18, 18, 17, 16, 15, 11, 10, 10, 10. Holy smokes guys. <laughs> That's a lot. 
Everybody, every one of the Mazdas that actually did laps got at least one X. Huh. Shout out to Mr. Yamada here, who got a solid finish in 13th and did it with only one X. They deserve Clean Racer of the Race Award. We need to think of a better name for that award. But, <laughs> shout out to him for getting one X when everybody else is fighting each other and beating and banging, I guess. Six X is more than I would want. Long race, though, so lots of corners, so it's not quite as impactful as a shorter race, but... Still, I'd prefer it to be a little bit cleaner than that. We'll, uh, we'll get to see what some of those crashes were. Starting lap one, turn one, as you would expect. Oh man, that was just a light tap. That was made worse by prediction. I don't think a tap that light should have put him sideways, but it did. Yeah, they barely even touched. And then uh, Tender swipes left and hits that Jetta a little bit. To the left. <laughs> nice save by the Jetta, though. Oh yeah, and here's uh, their perspective on it. Nice. Oh, and there's Mr. Yamada's one, one X. I'm surprised they didn't get a two X out of that because of uh, losing control. Very uh, loud green and purple car. Cold tires bites the number twelve. button. <laughs> Seven ends up off course. Oh yeah, I get to see what uh, what I did earlier in the race to get into the other guy. I hope it wasn't my fault. We'll see that before too long, I imagine. This must be it. Yeah, he just gave me no room. I feel like I held my line pretty well. Maybe a little bit, but I mean, look at all that space I gave him, and he still ran into me. Like, look at and that's not enough space. <laughs> Especially because he's in this process of giving me less space. And you gotta give me more space than that. And plus, look at that, it is net code. That sucks. So we both get a 4x out of that. Uh oh, it didn't even turn him around, that's good. I thought I still saw him back there, but I wasn't 100% sure I knew exactly who it was that I got into. But I could have used a little more space there. We could have used a better prediction code there. At least no one was hurt too bad by it. We just went from 2x in the race to 6x. So I feel like I didn't really deserve that one. A little bit of off course there, nothing too big. Solstice cutting some grass maybe? Well, that's nothing. Our one and only Mustang crashing. I believe safety rating does count though, even if you have no I rating exchange. So, all this guy did was <laughs> lose I rating, or uh, safety rating, potentially, I guess. And maybe had some fun. That's valuable. Solstice. Definitely mowing the grass this time. If I, they hit a wall that I'm sure not very many people managed to hit. And uh, 20s looking like me in my outlap, though they got they got it a little bit even worse because they flipped over. Oh no! 30 trying to get out of the way and gets the grass. Hate to see that when someone's trying to be a good multi-class racer and let guys by and run into trouble because of it. That's on the 7 again. He needs to start giving people more room because, well, a little bit of a dive by the 2, but he also just continues through the corner like he's not there. So I think at that point, you'd rather be not wrecked than right. You know, he might have been in the right 
in a sort of way. I don't know. He, he kind of was there. That's tough. But, I mean, if you've got Car Wright being called out to you, you can't just take up the whole course either. Thankfully, we got by it. Oh, yeah, and then we had a very, very uh, entertaining moment dodging this one. Because uh, we have to predict where he's going. and have to predict where he's going. <laughs> we, had to, we had a surprise chicane. It's like this was the chicane version of the track for just one lap. Go! I hit that apex. <laughs> We've done it. Oh! He has not done it. Oh, no. Well, not everybody was able to get by it. Mm. Yeah, he just couldn't decide which direction to go, and a couple more people ended up in trouble because of it. He also comes out on track immediately. <laughs> this guy, this poor guy is getting beat up while he's already down. He's been upside down for a year and a half. <laughs> he just keeps getting run into. Oof. Well, how do you even... 14? What you doing, man? Can you not see him from there, baby? Oh, he might not have even been able to see him because of those cars. He really didn't have much of a reaction at all, though. That's weird. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Tony Thief just runs into the back of him for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he got some serious damage from hitting that upside down car. Yeah, maybe. That doink on the on the front of his car must have done more damage than it looked like it did. Alright, we've mown the grass there plenty of times, guys. No need to mow it anymore. Ten, what did I just say? Eight? Guys. We need... We, the, the grass is gone. You didn't just mow it. It's completely... I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. What's the 22? Unbelievable. I can't believe these guys. Just like I can't believe that send. Holy smokes. From the top rope. <laughs> it's one thing to send it. It's another thing to... Completely not hold your line either. Yeah, like you just you completely took that guy out. Number eight. <laughs> That's not very nice. Look, that guy has a really cool name too. Ixy, I think. I'm assuming it's a capital I. Why do you have to do Ixy wrong like that? Oh great! Now the solstices are cutting the grass there too. Two laps in a row, really? I didn't actually see how many laps went by, but oh boy, the hill's been getting a couple of people. It doesn't get nearly as unsettled as it does in the uh, Arca car here, but uh, if you aren't straight as you go over the hill and you're carrying a lot of momentum, it can get weird. Seven, did they end it out? Bet they did. 18. Yeah, the uh. <laughs> their safety rating. They might have gone down like two license classes this race. Because <laughs> they had nine incidents in qualifying, 18 during the race until they got disqualified. And uh, 23 is not faring too well with that paint scheme either. That paint scheme might be cursed. If you ever see this paint scheme on trading paints, 
You might not want to uh, pick it up. 23 kind of just turns down on him there. So that's his own fault. All right, guys, you're beating this joke into the ground. It's time to move on from the cutting the grass. Well, that wasn't very nice. I feel like we've seen this. This is the guy that was upside down, too, wasn't it? We need to stop bullying the three. 12 is an indecisive and couldn't find a way around the guy that was getting loose. beating and banging. And then here's this final lap incident. I'm still trying to figure out what that last turn to the right was. It looks like intentional, but I don't think it was. I think maybe he surprised himself. I don't know. Maybe he saw him coming at him fast, and so for a second, he moves to the left, and then he realizes he's really close to the grass, and he doesn't want to get in the grass, so he turns hard right, but it does it too much. There's a, a hundred different things that could have happened there. And then I just leave a bunch of space because I don't know for sure after this contact and him getting the grass if he's going to be sliding to the right. Like, it's all happening so fast, so I give maximum room, and that just ruins my corner. I mean, not only am I all the way over to the right, but I also had to break pretty late. Yeah, that's pretty normal, but late for having to enter at that co at that angle. And so that allows the bottom to be left open for him to do the crossover on me. So maybe I could have handled it better. Maybe I could have been in front of him, but I mean, I mean, maybe I didn't want to be in front of him because apparently he takes out people that are in front of him. So here it looks like 15 incidents. Maybe he gets a penalty after this hit, or maybe he's already trying to come in for a penalty. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I think he's trying to head to the pits. He's desperately trying to get down there. I don't know why he brake checks in there before going to the right. Maybe he wasn't planning to go to the pits. I don't know. That's weird. He like brake checks him though, so I don't know what he's doing that for. Maybe that was retaliation for something? I don't know. That was weird. Like, why are you hitting your brakes? Maybe he had a slowdown? Did he get a slowdown somewhere? It sure doesn't look like it. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that one. I think I saw this. Point number four. Why are we seeing this again? Stop it. And guys limping past the line, blowing their engine intentionally. And that's the end of that one. Plenty to see in that incident report, that's for sure. As would be indicated by all of these incidents. Holy cow, if you added this up, it would probably be over 100, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh yeah, easily over 100. Wow. So I guess it could have been worse, but 6x is more than I would like. But we got ourselves a podium at least. Uh, number six deservedly won that race. They were very fast, and they uh, had the great qualifying time, so good race by them. Um, tried to get past the two. Couldn't quite get it done. But uh, I hope it was entertaining. Certainly, uh, certainly lots of action, and I'll try not to uh, accidentally delete this one <laughs> this time, or uh, have it corrupted, or whatever exactly happened last time. But uh, I appreciate you watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you later.